Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to work with P2P Binance, specifically with the API. I'll soon tell you about the open public. There is no API for P2P Finance, but there is, so to speak, a kind of insider thing. And I'll show how to work with it, view all data, all pairs, orders. So I'll just say, you can even operate with these orders, that is well, with your own. Present your own, cancel, adjust. And how to do this, I will not show today, but I will show where you can get it. So, immediately we go to our page, then enter the developer console, and into the internet. Here will be all the pages, not pages, functions that are loaded. When the page loads, refresh the page, and we get everything we have here. Right away, I can show you a script that loads exactly all these functions our main one as we see it is in javascript format so so here is javascript here response is what it contains our date here then headers here we need request url our main thing by which we communicate so well for now there's no need to touch anything else I'm just showing the main script that loads everything here. Next, uh, we can move on to fetch. XHR, here we will find the search already. Here we get our main link, uh, to which we refer a request method. And the response, of course, is our data, where we will search for all the information we need. As you can see, there's a lot of it, so we'll need to filter it a bit. In the payload, we actually see the parameters that need to be loaded to properly make a request. Yes, that means we take all of them. Um, we go into the core. Here, what do we need? Well, JSON format to work, request to make a call, and exactly our payload. We enter all the data, that is, the parameters by which we make the request. Uh, so, what's next? Making a request. A post, as I said, yes, that is to set to post, we make a post. Uh, here we indicate that uh, we send these parameters, specify our link and make a request. Then we process this in a director's format. And let's show what this looks like in general. Um, the result uh, and uh, this will remove for now. Um, uh, let's take a look. So, beep, beep, BPT, beep, land. Uh, and let's launch it. Um, what's it called again? Oh, I didn't save it, so you didn't see this. Here, uh, we receive a lot of data. And so, there is information on each order. And there's a lot of it here. So this is what we get. Uh, firstly, uh, message code. Yes, uh, that is such requests in general. And the date itself, which we need to process. As we see, an array opens up next. So we need to address it as a date. And since it's a list for us, not an array, we need to address the zeroth for instance, element. Zero element is the top order, and so on. Yes, that is one following, two, three, here. Let's display this. Uh, uh, let's check if it works. Uh, yes, as you can see, we immediately got the information about the order. Here it is. And we can, that is, already look at the information like ADV, uh, I don't know what it stands for. I guess it's either something like advanced or something. Well, like additional information. I don't know. Just we refer to this same key as it's a dictionary for us. And here we get all this information. What do we need here? The assets, um, USDT, and then the type of order, trade type and fiat unit. Uh, meaning the pair we are trading well and basically here you can also get other data yes that is the quantity and limits and so on 
that is all the information about the order is here let me remove this we'll uncomment this uh, as you can see not much code here just the set I showed you so we have a EISTT and so on let's take a pair um, uh, to the euro which we have here euro uh, let's go for the purchase uh, and see what it outputs for us so uh, USDT euro 0.928 oh well as I understand it this is it let's have a look all the information about this order to compare somehow so just need to display the results let's remove this for now okay then let's quickly add so that there is data zero element a key rdv uh, and we can take a look further uh, so subless mount what is that for us uh, so okay let's update Okay, so uh, yes, we see that is uh, 2,482. This is how much USDT we can buy. Uh, then what can we 50 here? We have a 50,000 euro limit as the bottom line. But somewhere here, there should be a top one. I can't see it yet, but everything can be found here. So it goes well. And with this information, we can work. Yes, put it into some loop to constantly receive information. Let's try. We get information and we will print it. Uh, let's get rid of this we don't need it let's get started and ideally and so it doesn't want anything so uh, I don't have a print I removed the print Let's take a look. Uh, so we have a speed here. We can set some limits so that maybe we don't have any errors. Number of requests. Uh, for example, one second, we need to import this time too. Here we get the data about our best, well, highest order. And we print them. So this way we can view everything. And that means we can change. For example, in the date. Ah, so that's the truth, huh? Well, like this. What will we change? Well, for example, the fiat. Uh, let's write PLN there. And let's output it now. Did it somewhat clumsily for now. The main thing is that it works. Now we're getting the information. Oh, we need to state at the beginning what we're specifying. Uh, here for the Euro... Okay. Euros to make it work properly. First, we get Euros, then Polish Slotis, and so we alternate. 
meaning you can look through all the pairs. And also comparing buying and selling, roughly speaking, write a screener like this long ago on Binance. You can also connect from other exchanges. It basically works by a similar method. That's regarding closed API. Yes, that means working with orders and so on. I have such a PDF file. Here are all the functions, how to work with them. Here, you can open and read. I don't know if this file is publicly available. It was given to me like this. So there are various requests here. We can work with them, but uh, I tell you right away, if you don't understand programming or if you're not well versed here, it will be very hard to understand. Well, if you figure out how to make one request, you'll understand the next ones too. Basically, if you want to figure it out, you can. Here, uh, there seems to be a couple of more files, uh, but basically the main work is written right here. Uh, well, that's how it works. Friends, thanks everyone for watching. And uh, remember, if you have any trading strategy that you want to automate, you can write to me on Telegram. We'll discuss the terms and I'll automate it for you. Also, follow my Telegram channel, where I publish news about crypto, programming, and the channel in general. Everything related to the channel will be there. That's all. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye to all.